everybody, this is Fatma from Addictive Tips. Today I'm going to show you how you can save a Photoshop file's history to a text file. So Photoshop has a history feature that allows you to review the steps that you've taken in the current file. If you close the file and open it again, you won't be able to recall those previous steps. So it's always a good idea to have a backup of them. So the feature to export your file history to a text file is built into Photoshop and all you need to do is enable it. Open Photoshop and go to Edit Preferences. Go to the History Log tab on the Preferences window and enable the History Log option. Once it's enabled, the other options on the tab will become active. Select the text file option under Save Log Items to and select where you want to save the log file to. Next, you want to decide how much detail the log file should have. If you stick to the sessions only option, it will record which files you opened, which ones you closed, and which ones you saved. If you often forget which files you are working with, this information is going to be really useful. If you need more details in the log file, open the Edit Log Items drop down and select the Detailed or Concise option. Both will include the steps that you executed in the Photoshop file. The detailed option will obviously give you more details on what you did, while the concise option gives you the steps but not in a, as much detail. That's all you have to do, just work in Photoshop like you normally do and this log file will update with everything that you did in the file. Now the tricky bit is how to work with a log file because every single file's log will be written to the same file. What you're going to end up with is a tediously long file that you can't do much with. If you keep the same log file, it will not overwrite any history. You will just have a really, really long, unmanageable log file to go through. You can use the find function and narrow down log entries by the file name if you name your files properly. This works on both Windows 10 and on Mac. And that's all there is to it. I'll see you again later with more tips and tricks for Windows 10.